welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Karina. Thanks for joining me. And as you can see by the video's title, today I have my August favorites. So yes, I'll be sharing with you some of my favorite items that I've been gravitating towards on the month of August. I don't have many, but I still wanted to share with you guys because in no time, September will be over like that. So I'll probably share some more favorites if I can get to you <laughs> but anyways if you want to see what my current favorites are stick around and let's get started so as you can see i am filming in another space i hope that the shadows behind me <laughs> are not very distracting but unfortunately where i usually film is very dark today because it is a gloomy day here in illinois and no matter what type of lighting i use there in my office it sucks so I can't film there. My room is under construction, so I can't film there. So where am I filming? In my living room. So yes, I apologize if this is very distracting and I do move my hands a lot, so that doesn't help. And um, there might be a lot of echo and the lighting sucks here too, but we're gonna make it work. We did to make it work just like I do with everything in life. <laughs> but anyways, uh, for today's video, I did break down the categories of what I have as my favorites so as i mentioned it's not a lot but it's still cool stuff have some beauty stuff some fashion stuff and some food yes i even have one food item. okay so let's get started because i've already talked a lot and this video is going to be super long and i don't even have a lot of things so uh, we'll start off with the first beauty item which is a hand serum yes a hand serum i really have been enjoying this hand serum um i came across this brand called being freshy at target they got me they got me with their marketing it's like the aesthetics was everything i also saw their ads on on instagram so they know how to get you they know how to get you and they got me <laughs> but um i really like the smell and how it feels on your hands um i got the joy and bliss smell i think they have like five other smells which are really nice too but this is the one that i enjoyed the best and if you could you have to try it it is expensive though um look at the how it looks and then when you like it like it's like water is it's super nice i just really like how it feels it feels like water on your hands and then once it's like absorbed it doesn't feel sticky it doesn't feel greasy it smells really nice so yeah check them out i know that this brand also carries other items such as body lotions i think face serums uh, bath bombs perfumes other items um, it is a bit pricey at least to me it is um, this little thing uh, two fluid ounces was like seven bucks I wanted the lotion the lotions like $15 so before I spent $15 on a lotion I wanted to give this a try to see if I even like this and uh, I get annoyed with uh, smells very easily so um, I wanted to see if this was not like too much but so far so good so I might be going back for that $15 lotion, like I said, they got me, they got me good. <laughs> Moving along with a lip product. This lip product is the Essence Volumizing Collagen Vegan Lip Balm. So I got this one at Ulta and I've been really using it a lot. I think I'm almost gonna run, uh, like gone, it's almost gone. So what I really like about this one is the price. It was only like four bucks. And although it's supposed to give you like that sensation of like volumizing your lips and that tingling sensation like all the other uh, volumizing uh, lip products, um, sometimes it's like burning and stuff and it's supposed to give you that plump look. What I like about this one that it actually I don't see any difference like volumizing your lips. I don't have no like juicy lips by any means. But when I do put it on or uh, what I really like it just it gives you that shine, which is a pretty shine. But what I like, it's how it feels because it does give you like a tingling sensation, but if anything, like a mint sensation. And it's, <laughs> here we go again. Not only is it a gloomy day, but my allergies want to play me again. Sorry, going back to this. So the sensation that I feel on my lips is what I like the most besides how shiny it is because it's not like that burning sensation that the other lip serums give you when you're trying to use that plump effect. Um, this one, if I don't know how to explain it, it feels like mint, like super fresh and refreshing on your lips. And it's tingling, but not to the point where it's burning like those other ones. 
and I really like it. So uh, I do recommend this one. Try it out. Oh my God, my allergy. Moving along to the next uh, face item is this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. If you're on Instagram, if you're on TikTok, you know about this. So let's talk about it. So this um, product has been very popular right now on social media. It's like Hunger Games to try to get this. It wasn't hard for me. I actually got mine at Target, but people are making it. Uh, but it became very popular because um, it's supposed to be a dupe for another similar product, but very expensive. I think it's around like 50 or $60. And this one's only like 12 or $14. So I haven't tried the other one, so I can't really tell you if it's a dupe. But from what people are saying, it is a dupe. But I do, I can tell you that I've been wanting to try the other one, but I just wasn't willing to pay $60 for something that I don't even know if I am, I'm going to like. Yes, of course I can return it, but your girl doesn't like to return products, especially when it's makeup, because I don't think that's cool. And we're being wasteful. But anyway, so I said, let me try this and see if it's worth the hype. And yes, it is. Yeah. I've been really enjoying this and give it a try. Um, it's it's really nice and if you like that glowy look, um, it should work for you. And then the last beauty product is the holy grail of this video. Well, I have another one, but anyways, it's this little magic, magic and a little bottle, expensive little bottle. So this is the Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. I wish I would have taken a picture of my eyelashes and I always say that when I'm going to use a product like this, I'm always going to take a before and an after picture and I did not. But if you could only see my eyelashes and I think I've mentioned it in the past in all their videos is that when I was like in my early 20s, I'm giving away my age already <laughs> again, um, I would always use eyelashes, like fake eyelashes, always. Fine. You can't find me without eyelashes. I would always wear eyelashes. It was just part of the look, you know, but with time obviously your eyelashes are going to suffer from that because of all the pulling and all this stuff. So I had very thin eyelashes. Some of them were missing. Then one time, I think it was earlier this year, I pulled like half of my eyelashes from this side with my curler. So it was just a mess. So I wanted to try something that would help my eyelashes grow. And I was using a serum back in the day, but it was like $99 and it was just getting too costly. So I stopped using it. I came, my friends, my best friend started using this and I love her eyelash. I'm like, what are you using? Like, I need to know. <laughs> so uh, she told me I went and bought it. It is pricey again. I believe the big, the big bottle, like the regular size is like almost like $60 and this baby one was $28 but it did come with a little travel size um, mascara so I think it wasn't that bad um, and then besides that um, I wanted to again give it a try first and if I like it then I'll buy the big bottle but I've had this already I think I've been using it for three months already if not mistaken maybe three and a half months and let me get a close-up of my eyelashes Can you see that? This are not fake. They're not. They're my real eyelashes. And my eyelashes didn't look like that. So I'm very, very happy because I haven't been wearing eyelashes, like fake eyelashes or like strips for almost a month. Um, every now and then I'll wear them for special occasions. But during the week, I I only put on mascara. I wear it every night. I've missed a few nights, but I mean, it's doing the job. I I wish I would have taken a This is amazing and it was worth the $28 and I'll be buying the product again when it's over. It's almost over. Um, so highly, highly, highly want. Right. Two, three. Beauty item is this set here. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I created a reel on this because I think it's a great set, especially for the price. It was only $10. I found it at Marshalls. It came with this little bag, and then the inside came with this, so you can actually put this in your purse. It came with this. Then there's three different sizes of rollers, the small one, the medium one, and the large, and it came, I believe, with 12 little clips 
for 10 bucks, come on, you can't beat that. Um, I usually like to use them when I'm doing something very glam with my hair. Now, mind you, my hair is super stubborn. It's super thin. So nothing stays in my hair like this. I already had to do them like twice already <laughs> just to curl my hair. But when I lace, um, so doing those is just to basically give me more like um, volume to my hair, more like bounce in a sense. So what I do is I wash my hair, then I dry it in sections. And once I'm drying it and it, the hair is hot, I'll put the roller in, leave it as long as I can, the rollers in my hair or on my hair for the longest, the longer, the better. And then once I'm done, I have that hair look that I can be in a hair commercial. Uh, but I really, really have enjoyed them. It's just um, a great set for only 10 bucks at your local Marshalls. And I'm pretty sure you can find it at TG Maxx as well. And now we can move on to the next part, which is food. The only food item that I have are cookies. So yes, I had to include, like I mentioned, food because I love food and I love matcha. If you haven't checked out my matcha tres leches cake video, you have to, it's a must. Can't wait to make it again because it was so good. But anyways, the cookies that I'm mentioning have matcha and they look like this. Unfortunately, I don't have the box anymore. Um, and this is my last, my last set of cookies. But um, I wrote it down because I didn't wanna forget, but it's called the Biscuit Tea Matcha Tea Shortbread Cookies. They are delicious. They're, they don't really have that matcha like strong taste, but it gives you a little hint of matcha. And I really have been enjoying them. You can find them on Amazon. I came across them at Home Goods, and I really have been enjoying them. So with some lechita, leche lala, amazing. So if you like matcha and shortbread cookies, check them out. So let's move along to fashion items. The first fashion item that I have are these shoes. So let's take a moment for them. Aren't they beautiful? So this pair, I got them at Target and I really like them because they're comfortable. The color is something that I don't have. And if you are into trends and fashion, this is some, this type of shoes are shoes that you're going to see a lot during the fall. So I really highly recommend for you to get a pair of like some neutral colors they i know they have them in white black and then this color i was in between the white ones and black ones and then i said mm, black ones you already have similar in a lot of black shoes this ones i don't have the white ones are still in my mind i might just go back for them who knows but i really like them they they are kind of heavy but they're very comfortable i worn them to work and i walk a lot to get to my work so my office so they're comfortable enough for me basically they're comfortable enough for you to wear because some of this type of shoes are not very comfortable it's more for looks so i'm really happy with my purchase with this pair of shoes and also they're true to size i am a seven and a half and this ones are seven and a half and they fit me just right so um the seventh i could have gone with the seven but i felt like they were a little too snug then the eight were too big so true to size so seven and a half and go to your local target to get yourself a pair of this type of shoes they also have them without this gold thing so they have other options so yeah the next fashion item is another pair of shoes which are the sandals i've been wearing the heck out of them since i got them i got them at target and i just really have been enjoying them because of the look it gives you that like Chanel kind of look, uh, but without paying the price, you pay target price. Uh, they're probably on sale now because summer's coming to an end. I bought them when they first came out, um, but they're not heavy at all. Um, they're nice and they're very comfortable. And I get compliments where I wear, when I wear them and I'm still gonna wear the heck out of them until summer's over and it's hot here. So yeah, um, that's that. Moving along with this piece. So let me put it on. This is not a new piece. I've had it for quite a while, but um, I forgot to mention it last time. And this is something that uh, just brings me happiness. So um, my boyfriend actually got this one for me and he said, every time you get sad or you are not happy, look at your ring and just smile. So I really like it. Um, it's kind of like wearing off, but I don't mind it. And it, it's just a happy ring. And 
I really, really like it. Um, he got it at TJ Maxx. I saw it and I'm like, oh, I really like that. And then he surprised me with it. So um, I've been wearing it a lot. So it's my, my, my happy ring. Okay, the next um, items, I'm almost done, are clothing items. So I have two sets. So is this pants, I'll try to include a picture of it. I got this sets at Amazon and I just really like the material, really flowy. It can, this color obviously can transition to the fall. Even the material, it comes with its shirt. You can't really see it, so you'll see it with the picture. It got cut off, so sorry. Um, I was saying that you can't really tell how it looks because of the color, but I'll include the picture and hopefully you get a better visual. But I just like that it's a two set piece because I can mix match. I don't necessarily have to wear them together, so you're technically getting two outfits in one. And um, I actually worn them separately and together. And I just really like it because I can transition it to fall as well. And then I liked it so much that I, I got another color. Did I need it? No, I didn't, but did I get it? Yes, I did. <laughs> and it's this blue color. I have nothing like this color in my closet, so I'm justifying my purchase because of that. And I've actually worn this top with the bottoms of the black. So I'll include a picture again, and I just really like them. You can find them on Amazon and they have a bunch of different colors. I'm tempted to get the green one, the orange one, and all the colors, but self-control, self-control. But I'll try to include a link for them if I can find them in one. We've come to an end of the video. The last item is my ultimate favorite one that I love. It's my baby. I've been wearing the heck out of her as well. And it's the LV, the classic LV Palm Spring mini backpack. And it looks like this. Look at her. Oh. Just kidding, but yeah, she is cute, right? She's cute, you can't deny it. So this uh, classic little mini LB Palm Spring backpack is something that I've been wanting for the longest since it came out. I can't remember the year that it came out, but it's been a while and if you are a fan of purses like this one, it was really hard to get your hands on it. So I gave up, I was like, and plus the price, like regular price was like insane. So I'm um, like, it's not meant to be. Maybe I'll come across it and then it's meant to be. But anyways, I gave up on it. But um, as you guys know, I really highly encourage uh, buying pre-owned luxury bags. If, you've, if you're looking to treat yourself for a luxury bag, that's the way to go. I wish I would have done it since the beginning when I started buying my luxury bags, but um, now I know better. I think it's a great way to buy luxury bags, not paying full price and pre-owned and just passing it along to other people that are gonna love them as much as you did. So anyways, um, I came across this one. It's pre-owned, but it looks brand new and the price was good and I was like, and plus my justification for buying this is that I, did something that I'm very proud of myself for doing. And I said, you know what, Karina? Treat yourself, girl. Buy that purse, buy it. So I bought it uh, and here it is. Here it, here she is. So she is, and I'm gonna show you the way that I wear it. And that's what I love about this purse, that it's tiny, it looks tiny, but it has so, so much space inside. Like you can, you can put a lot of stuff in there. Um, that's one thing. The other thing is the versatility of it. Is that how you say it? It's the fact that you can wear it multiple ways. So you can wear it as a regular backpack, so as you can see. And then you could actually wear it like this. You could take off one of them. So you can take this off and then Then you can wear it like this. Let me see if I can get off. Like that. Shoulder bag. And then my favorite way is this way. I take one of them, leave it up here, and then click it to the bottom. And then you have it to wear like this. So this is how I usually wear it on the side. So. I just really like it because you can wear it in multiple ways so you're getting your money's worth and again it's a purse that i can resell again if i ever wanted to so this is definitely my favorite favorite of the month 
I've had her for I think a month and a half, but I've been wearing the heck out of her um, August and I'll continue to wear it till I keep it. So yeah. And that is it guys. That wraps up my favorites for the month of August. I hope that you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoy recording videos for you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that let me know, lets me know that you do like this type of videos. Also, um, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you're notified when my next video goes up. And don't forget to follow me on social media so you see what I'm up to. But again, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Till next time. Bye.